Yes, that's my third question. So we talked about the best and worst of college, the best Mm -hmm. and worst of of playing professionally overseas. Now, what's the best and worst thing about playing in the NBA that people might not know? It might not be obvious. I was um, never, I never got tired of staying in nice hotels. (laughs) It was just astonishing when we would pull up to a four seasons and I would think I get to stay have my own room here this is bananas this doesn't make any sense um and then i think in the nba it 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 is that that it was just that sterility of things that you know like in in greece there was a an away game where somebody broke into the locker room and stole everybody's wallets so like i still don't have a social security card because of that and that's, that wasn't really super fun at the time, but it, um, it brings you together and it's weird. And you're you know, like, all of those experiences, I think are bonding even, you know, in, in Europe, when I played in Spain towards the end of my career, I was pretty well established in Spain and started to get to know the other Americans. And we would obviously be playing kind of on the same schedule. So we would often connect flights through Madrid or Barcelona at the same time. And that meant we got to, the, you know, the, the two Americans on each team would each get together and hang out. And, and there was something really special about feeling like you were um, with people that you understood, but in a foreign land, which I'm sure the European players go through here. Nice. Um, so I think like for me, socially, it was the NBA was tough. I was always hanging out with like the trainers because they had a little more cohesion they were going to stick around the players were kind of in and out and they the guys who get really good a lot of times become kind of sequestered from the rest of the team because they are like their own little corporation in a way 